Cyber here with a short video on printing a label file through JMagic. So once you have your format open in JMagic, you can simply come up to Format, then hover over Print, and click on Print Label File. Here you will get your Print Label File screen, where you'll fill out the information to print. In your first parameter here, in Label File, you can put in the label file that you will be using to grab data from. This can either be the label file name and library, or if you're pulling data from a spool file, you can drop the pull down and use spool file. Here are the different fields and parameters that need to be filled in if you're using a spool file. You have spooled file, the name of the spooled file. You would also have to input a job name, the user, a number in a spooled file number as well. For this print job, I'm going to go ahead and use a label file or physical file, which I have defined as FedEx, in the library MMCMK. The next thing that you're going to want to make sure you fill out is format name. This should be pre-filled for you when you do a print label file with the format open in JMagic. As you can see, mine is filled in already. The printer device, this is going to be the device that you are going to be using to print to. You can use the drop down to scroll to different devices that you have set up. And you can pick a printer through that way. And if you don't have the device set up on your AS400 but you have an out queue, you can do star job. And then click on the advanced down here. And scroll down to spooled output queue and library right here and right here. Here I would define an out queue in the library the out queue's in, where I'll send the spool file to for the print. The next thing I want to make sure that you have filled out is the printer type. This again would be filled out, pre-filled, when you do a print label file from JMagic. After you have everything filled out as you need, you can press OK to print, or if you have any additional parameters that you need to change, you can go to Advanced and look at all the other values that can be changed in the Advanced at print time. There will be some on-screen displays explaining, explaining a couple of the other parameters used in the print label file command. 